Companies have, across Europe, begun to expand their flight schedules as more tourists look to book summer holidays following months of coronavirus confinement. With European borders opening up to more international visitors, countries like Greece, Spain and Portugal have begun a renewed push to welcome foreign tourists. But with some restrictions still in place and ongoing uncertainty over quarantine rules, how sure can holidaymakers be when booking a summer getaway? Well, someone who might be able to help answer that is Simon Calder, travel editor at The Independent. Simon, at the airport, off on a trip, I hear. But just before we get on to the details of that, in theory, borders are starting to open, particularly in Europe, internal borders, but also external ones. But how easy is it actually to get around? Because we're all hearing anecdotally of friends, family, booking flights just to find out after that they've been cancelled. It's been an absolute mess. Now, you'll recall, of course, uh, that in March, when all the barriers started going up, there was utter disarray um, with individual countries suddenly saying no more flights or uh, all our frontiers are closed. Now, the European Union wanted to avoid the same thing happening. And that's why they settled on yesterday. Uh, the 1st of July was going to be the day when everything opened in a coordinated fashion. But it hasn't worked like that. You've got individual bans, for instance, Greece saying that they will not accept uh, flights direct from uh, Sweden or from the United Kingdom. And interestingly, the prime minister's father, uh, Stanley Johnson, um, has uh, just turned up in Greece, apparently, having done the Sofia swerve via Bulgaria to avoid that flight ban. Add to that the fact that the airlines, under huge commercial pressure, are cancelling flights en masse simply because it's cheaper than uh, operating them. And I'm afraid it's going to take some weeks before we get back to anything that could be described as normal. So would you recommend booking a holiday now? I think there are some bargains to be had. And certainly people looking at travelling maybe into August will probably find that uh, there's some, some good deals and there's a good chance that those trips will go ahead as planned. However, there are no certainties, and I'm hearing from more than one holiday company that uh, if bookings stay at the low levels they have been, and bear in mind there's been three months of uh, effectively airlines, holiday companies not being able to sell anything because they weren't sure when they would be starting up, uh, there could be further cancellations. Add to that the astonishing situation here in the UK over quarantine imposed um, just three weeks ago from all countries anywhere in the world apart from my destination, Ireland, and you uh, get a system of, of utter, utter fragmentation. The UK, in fact, there are uh, reports this morning that that whole quarantine plan is effectively going to be quietly dropped as from Monday. But here we are, what, four days away, and there's still no confirmation of that. Well, with family in the UK, that's certainly good news uh, for me. Look, Greece was saying a few weeks ago, we welcomed the world, they wanted everyone yes. to arrive. But now we hear that they've extended a flight ban to anyone coming from Sweden, Portugal, the UK. So how sort of fluid is the situation in that if you book something now, you might find that actually, well, in yeah. a few weeks' time, actually, that then has to be cancelled again? Oh, sure. Yeah, it's really, really tricky. And therefore, there's an awful lot of people who are worried about travelling anyway because of the airport experience, all very unfamiliar. Um, but there's also the risk that you could find yourself on the other side of a lockdown. And uh, the UK government warning that, that even if we relax quarantine, we could suddenly bring it in from, say, Portugal, if there's a spike in cases there and you happen to be on holiday. So uh, pity the poor traveller, but probably pity the travel industry even more after the shock it's endured over the past few months. Simon, thank you very much. Travel editor at The Independent speaking to us uh, from London Gatwick.